Do it with one of our favorite interstellar experts, Harvard professor Avi Loeb. Uh, professor, welcome back. Starting with these new images from AES's ExoMars Orbiter. Uh, what stands out to you? Any surprises here? The moment NASA's website went dark, a ripple of unease spread across the scientific community and the internet alike. Hours earlier, whispers had begun circulating through astronomy forums and social media. An image, supposedly leaked from a Mars orbiter, showed an object near the red planet unlike anything previously recorded. The object bore the provisional name 3I Atlas, part of the same interstellar naming lineage as 1I slash Oumuamua and 2I slash Borisov. Celestial visitors known to have come from beyond our solar system. Yet this one was different. The leaked frame showed something not just passing through the solar system, but seemingly hovering in orbit around Mars. Within minutes of the rumor gaining traction, NASA's public data portal went offline. The agency's main site displayed a terse maintenance notice. To those watching closely, it felt less like coincidence and more like containment. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more exclusive news. The image itself, blurred, compressed, and re-uploaded countless times before NASA's servers went down was grainy but compelling. Against the rust-colored backdrop of Mars, a silvery spindle-shaped object glimmered with sharp geometric edges, unlike any known asteroid. Analysts noticed reflective symmetry and shadowing inconsistent with a tumbling rock. Amateur astronomers began dissecting metadata and orbital telemetry, tracing the leak to an internal data stream from one of NASA's Mars orbiters, likely the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO. What baffled experts was that 3I Atlas had been cataloged months earlier as a transient interstellar object passing through the outer solar system, nowhere near Mars. The implication that it had altered its trajectory dramatically and purposefully stirred fevered speculation. When NASA's official channels went dark, many recalled earlier periods when the agency temporarily restricted data access during unverified detections. Yet this time, the secrecy seemed deliberate and immediate. Satellite data caches that were normally open access appeared empty. Even public mission archives displayed 403 forbidden messages. For those who had seen the leaked image before its removal, the conclusion seemed obvious. NASA had captured something it couldn't explain or couldn't afford to. The shutdown only amplified that perception. The more silent the agency became, the louder the world's imagination roared. What made the 3 I Atlas image so disruptive was not merely its content, but its context. Humanity has grown accustomed to the extraordinary. We've seen black holes photographed, gravitational waves detected, and even private companies landing boosters on platforms at sea. Yet the notion of an interstellar object deliberately adjusting its path to orbit another planet was a paradigm breaker. It implied either a natural phenomenon that defied physics as we knew it, or the presence of an artifact, something constructed. Scientists had long debated whether one ice slash Oumuamua's unusual acceleration was the result of outgassing or something artificial. The three I Atlas case reignited that debate with cosmic fuel. Inside research circles, data leaks hinted at mounting unease. A few engineers speaking anonymously on technical forums noted that a foreign data anomaly had been flagged weeks before the image surfaced. Terms like non-gravitational maneuver and reflective vector mismatch appeared in obscure telemetry logs. The suggestion was chilling. 3I Atlas wasn't drifting, it was steering. If true, it would mean for the first time in recorded history, humanity had visual proof of an object from another star system actively altering its orbit within our solar neighborhood. Mars, the world humanity has long dreamed of colonizing, might already be hosting a visitor we didn't invite. The implications were staggering. Astronomically, it challenged the long-held assumption that interstellar objects move ballistically, simple passers-by hurled by gravity and chance. Instead, 3I Atlas appeared to exhibit controlled behavior, positioning itself in a near-synchronous orbit with Mars. Some theorists speculated it could be an automated probe, a relic of an ancient civilization, or an instrument designed to observe planetary environments discreetly. The symmetry in its shape, particularly the reflection pattern along its central axis, evoked comparisons to solar sails or communication arrays. Others dismissed the idea as a sensor artifact, a trick of imaging algorithms. But those explanations grew weaker with every suppressed dataset and server error. NASA's decision to shut down its public portal only deepened the mystery. Historically, the agency has prided itself on transparency, releasing raw images from rovers and orbiters within hours. Even sensitive events like meteor impacts or solar anomalies were accompanied by press briefings. This silence was different. 
The abrupt withdrawal suggested a breach of protocol, perhaps even an emergency directive. Within internal communication networks, speculation spread that the agency had received instruction from higher governmental or defense authorities. After all, if the object was maneuvering intentionally, it wasn't just a scientific curiosity, it was a national security concern. The Mars orbiters were never designed for contact scenarios. Their instruments were meant for geological mapping and atmospheric analysis, not for tracking intelligent machinery. Yet, as data packets were dissected by enthusiasts, patterns emerged. Fluctuating electromagnetic signatures, intermittent radar reflections, and most intriguingly, a spectral emission near the ultraviolet band. Consistent, repeating, almost rhythmic. Some claimed it resembled a signal pattern. If the data were genuine, then 3i Atlas wasn't merely visible, it was active. Whether that activity represented communication, scanning, or propulsion remained unclear. But even the possibility reframed the question from, what is it, to, who sent it? The silence from NASA turned the event into a global theater of speculation. Every amateur telescope and independent observatory pivoted toward Mars. Some claimed to capture faint glimmers trailing the planet, although atmospheric distortion and distance rendered the observations inconclusive. Meanwhile, scientists from the European Space Agency and Japan's JAXA reportedly attempted to cross-reference data from their instruments, but none released official confirmations. In the absence of clarity, the narrative became self-sustaining. Online communities split into factions, those who saw the leak as the dawn of first contact, and those who considered it a sophisticated hoax orchestrated to test public reaction. Regardless of belief, the potential implications of the 3i Atlas event were seismic. If an interstellar probe truly orbited Mars, the entire framework of planetary science would need re-evaluation. Humanity's understanding of technological isolation, the comforting idea that we are the only advanced civilization within light years, would crumble overnight. The ethical and philosophical questions would follow swiftly. What responsibility would Earth hold in responding, if response were even possible? Should we signal back or remain silent observers of a silent observer? And if 3i Atlas had chosen Mars deliberately, why that planet? Its proximity to Earth? its long dormant potential for life, or perhaps its history as a world that once mirrored ours. There was also the unsettling notion that the leak itself wasn't accidental. In highly controlled data environments like NASA's, image releases follow strict protocols, often passing through multiple verification layers. A file of this significance escaping unnoticed seemed improbable. That raised two possibilities, an internal whistleblower acting on conscience or an external breach. Either scenario suggested tension within the agency. Perhaps some insiders believed the public had a right to see what the orbiters had captured before it was buried under classification. Others speculated that the shutdown was an automated security response triggered by an anomaly detection algorithm recognizing something beyond its interpretive scope, a digital panic reflex. The broader scientific implications extended beyond extraterrestrial speculation. The 3i Atlas event underscored how fragile the balance between open science and controlled information truly is. Modern astronomy thrives on collaboration and transparency. Data silos inhibit discovery. Yet when the unknown brushes too close to the extraordinary, even the most open institutions retreat behind closed doors. The ethical dilemma becomes clear. How much truth can humanity handle at once? If NASA had confirmed that a structured, maneuvering interstellar object was orbiting Mars, it would have ignited not just scientific inquiry, but global existential reflection. Beyond the institutional response, the technological aspects fascinated researchers. If 3i Atlas was indeed artificial, it demonstrated an engineering mastery far beyond human reach. To traverse interstellar space and decelerate into Martian orbit would require propulsion systems capable of continuous efficient thrust, perhaps leveraging principles like photon pressure, magnetic fields, or even space-time manipulation. Some theoretical physicists began revisiting long-dismissed concepts like light sails and fusion drives. Others speculated that the object's presence might offer insights into energy sources we've yet to harness. In this sense, 3i Atlas wasn't just a mystery, it was a blueprint from the cosmos. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us? What are your thoughts on NASA shutting down the website suddenly? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.